flower flower have four walls in which two are non essential and two are essential. so when we deal about the non essential world we are dealing with two that is sepals and another one is petal and then we dealing with the two important verbs we are dealing with stamen and pistil or we can say carpel so first we are dealing with the topic that we all know when we dealing with the sepal sepal are basically green color green part of flower it protect the bud we already know that the group of sepals is known as second we are discussing about petal so when we deal about petal petal which is a color part of the flower it is a color part of flower the main function is attract insects for pollination attract insects for pollination and we already know that the group of petal is known as corolla now we are dealing with the stamen stamen that is a main reproductive part so when we deal with the stamen stamen main reproductive part of the flower stamen and dosium it is further divided into parts stamen have anther and filament so when we deal with the anther anther is a bilobed structure it is a bilobed structure it is dicycle in nature okay that is two lobes bilobed hote hain and har lobes mein two निकालते हैं देन फिलामेंट की हम बात करते हैं देन वी टॉक अबाउट द फिलामेंट फिलामेंट इज अ स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड वी ड्रॉ द डायग्राम दिस इज अ एंथर एंड दिस इज फिलामेंट नेक्स्ट वी आर डीलिंग विद द कार्पल कार्पल इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स That is stigma, style, and ovary. So when we deal about the stigma, stigma is the sticky or hairy part that captures the pollen leaf. It is the sticky part, sticky, or so when we deal about that, it is the sticky or hairy part. What is the function of stigma? Capture pollen. It capture नेक्स्ट इसके बाद हम बात करें दैट इज स्टाइल स्टाइल इज अ ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बिलो द स्टिग्मा ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बिलो स्टिग्मा नेक्स्ट वी आर डीलिंग विद द ओवरी ओवरी दैट इज अ सोलन बेसल पार्ट ऑफ पिस्टल that it also contain ovules so this is the structure we are here we discuss about the pollen okay flower now we are dealing with the next structure that the structure of structure of anther or now we are dealing with the structure of anther or okay so first we are discuss about the stamen first first we are dealing with the stamen stamen which is also known as microsporophyll or microsporo so when we talk about the stamen or microsporophyll we all know that stamen is a structural and functional part of endosperm the fertile portion of stamen is anther okay we are already discussed about that now we are dealing with structure of anther so when we dealing with the structure of anther structure of so it involves structure of anther involves the following parts Following layer, that is epidermis. It involves four layers. Here we draw. 
here we contain four layers. This is three layers, and then inside it, it contains four layers. Now we start the label. So when we start the label, okay, we will start the label. The first is epidermis. The first layer is epidermis. Epidermis. It is the first form layer of anther worm and it's protective in function. Second layer is endothelium. Third layer. is middle layer and then this is capitum and this is sporogenous tissue okay this is sporogenous tissue now we are dealing with it about that so first we are talking about epidermis First is epidermis. Okay, it is the outermost layer. So when we dealing about epidermis, it is the outermost layer. Outermost layer. It is, and its main function is protection. Function provide second layer which we are dealing is endothelium. Endothelium, which is present below the epidermis, it is present below the epidermis. It helps in the dehiscence of anther. Helps in dehiscence of anther. Third layer is middle layer. Middle layer. This middle layer. is the third layer wall layer of the anther third wall layer of anther the middle layer degenerates middle layer degenerates at maturity of anther at maturity of anther middle layer are basically nutritive in function is nutritive in function and stored food material it is stored starch stored food material is starch this is starch next the fourth layer the fourth layer is capitum fourth layer capitum capitum which is the innermost wall layer of the anther innermost wall layer of anther it surrounds sporogenous tissues surrounds sporogenous tissues it is multinucleate and polyploid it is multinucleate and polyploid and main function is storage of food it also shows storage of so here we will discuss about the structure of anther next now we are dealing with the sporogenous tissues now we are dealing with sporogenous tissue so when we deal with the sporogenous tissues what happens in the sporogenous tissues and what occurs when the anther is young a group of compactly arranged homogeneous cells called the sporogenous tissue occupies the center of each sporangium or we all know that inside the capitum sporogenous tissues are present so now when we talk about sporogenous tissues we are talking about also macrosporogenous sporogenous tissues it is present present inside the capitum so when we talk about sponges tissue first we have to deal about the microsporogenesis 
micro sporo when we talk about the micro sporogenesis it is the formation and differentiation of it is formation and differentiation of microspores or pollen grains is called microsporogenesis okay now what happens in microsporogenesis let's we will deal about that in microsporogenesis okay in the cavity of microsporangium the microspore mother cells in the cavity of microsporangium the megaspore mother cell divide meiotically to produce pollen tetrad which is followed by cytokinesis the microspores the microspores is formed tetrad microspores 